As they saw the two of them, they started letting off shots. King Von, a notorious shooter in history, had a surprising connection with one of his deadliest ops. AI, a female shooter from the STLEBT set in Chicago. The police have identified Vaughn as a main suspect in KI's case, shedding light on their complex relationship. Vaughn, who grew up in the Killer Ward area of Chicago, faced challenges early on with his father's absence due to jail time and eventual death when Vaughn was just 11 years old. His troubled past led him to jail at 16, marking the beginning of a decade-long cycle in and out of the system until his tragic death in late 2020. Vaughn was a member of the Black Disciples and represented the O Block set alongside rappers such as Lil Durk. O Block was named after Odie Perry, a respected member of the Black Disciples who was killed in 2011. Odie was a victim in the ongoing conflict between the Black Disciples as well as the Gangster Disciples in the area of 63rd and St. Lawrence, also known as STLEBT or Tukaville. The person rumored to be responsible for Odie's death was a girl named Chikyra Barnes, the teenage girl who rose to become one of the most feared gang members in Chicago. Despite starting out as a normal girl, the environment of violence and death in the South Side shaped her into a formidable figure as she grew older. Her father passed away when she was only one year old. As she grew up, she developed a strong sense of protectiveness towards those around her due to this early loss. During her teenage years, she began spending time with some individuals associated with the gangster disciples in her neighborhood, including Tuca. For those unfamiliar, Shondal Gregory, also known as Tuca, was a 15-year-old member of the Gangster Disciples, who tragically lost his life in 2011. Similar to Odie Perry, the St. Lawrence area was renamed Tucaville in honor of Tuca's memory after his passing. K.I. shared a close friendship with Tuca, and his untimely death played a significant role in motivating her to become a savage. Tuca was killed by members of the Black Disciples as a form of retaliation for the alleged murder of Edric Walker, who was believed to have been killed by gangster disciples. Tuca's death made him a prime target for disrespect in the music of rappers from Old Block. Their constant dissing of Tuca only fueled the rivalry between Old Block and STL, which also played a role in the beef between KI and King Von. Following Tuka's death, K.I. found herself getting more involved in street activities. Rumor has it that on Tuka's birthday, she went out with FBG Butta in search of rivals and encountered Odie Perry, whom they shot off his bike. Initially, it was hard for anyone to believe that a teenage girl was responsible for taking down a high-ranking member of one of Chicago's most notorious gangs. However, as K.I.'s reputation in the streets grew, they had no choice but to acknowledge the reality. K.I. was renowned as one of the most merciless assassins in the history of Shy Rack. Her targets weren't limited to just her rivals, but extended to anyone who dared to disrespect her, including fellow females. There was even an incident where K.I. allegedly fired shots at the female cousin of a highly respected member of O Block named T. Roy. Despite the cousin eventually cooperating with the authorities, K.I. managed to evade conviction. In a documentary about K.I.'s life, Vaughn even confessed to having a crush on K.I. in the past. However, their mutual respect as adversaries did not translate into a friendly relationship. Their dynamic was always peculiar. One moment they would taunt and threaten each other, and the next they would engage in flirtatious banter. Over time, their interactions became increasingly hostile and less amicable. In 2012, K.I. tweeted this, which clearly provoked Vaughn, leading to a Twitter feud between them. During that time, Vaughn also started feuding with another close friend of K.I.'s, Wooski, a rapper and gang member. 
originally grew up in Oblock but later moved to St. Lawrence after allegedly killing a respected black disciple member named Reezy. Years later, Wooski was accused of killing another Oblock member named Platoon, who was close to King Vaughn. In retaliation, Vaughn took the life of Modale, who happened to be Wooski's cousin. Following Modell's death, Vaughn and Wooski engaged in a heated argument on Twitter with K.I. Also getting involved during this exchange, Von Opoli admitted to having committed multiple homicides, warning both Wooski and K.I. that he was not someone to be messed with. But before anything serious could happen, Von got arrested for the murder of Malcolm Stuckey and spent the next two years behind bars fighting the case. Despite being incarcerated, his thoughts remained fixated on K.I. Prior to his imprisonment, Vaughn was reportedly involved in the murder of a local drug dealer named P5. Speculation suggests that Vaughn, along with fellow Oblock members like J Money and T Roy, ambushed P5 while he was en route to a drug deal, shooting him multiple times in the face and body. K.I had a close relationship with P5, and during the incarceration of Vaughn, she allegedly sought revenge by killing J Money. Just before J Money's murder, he and K.I. engaged in a heated exchange on Twitter, exchanging threats of violence. Despite Vaughn harboring feelings for K.I., she had now taken the lives of two of his close associates, O.D. and J Money. On April 11, 2014, K.I. and F.B.G. Butter were on their way to Wooski's house. Around 6.30 p.m., K.I. dropped her location on Twitter, which Vaughn and others saw. So Vaughn, along with Big A, T-Roy, and Boss Money left O'Block, where they quickly spotted Butter and K.I. This was the perfect opportunity to get revenge for both J Money and Odie, so as soon as they saw the two of them, they started letting off shots. <laughs> FBG Butta got away, but K.I. was hit several times and later died from her injuries. Vaughn was rumored to be involved in K.I.'s death, but the police couldn't find sufficient evidence. Recently, the Chicago PD released documents that implicated Vaughn as a suspect. Vaughn provided to alibis for the day of the crime and agreed to take a polygraph test. However, his alibis failed to prove his whereabouts during the shooting, and he ultimately never took the test. Consequently, the district attorney decided not to press charges due to insufficient evidence. The leaked documents finally confirmed the persistent rumor linking Vaughn to K.I.'s death. Like and subscribe for more rap-related content.